hello youtube welcome to a new video my name is abuzi on today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can easily clean your backdrop in photoshop so without any further ado let's jump into the video so as for this image we are going to uh, start by cleaning this left and then right part of the image that we don't really want it on our image so we are going to head over to our lasso tool and then we select all the areas that we don't want them in our image all right let's zoom out i think everywhere is properly selected and then we right click and then we go to fill and then we make sure we are selecting content aware and then we hit ok All right, this is good. I think there is something down here that we will need to clean. So always take a look at your backdrop and make sure we get rid of anything that will uh, make your image look bad and then get rid of it. Maybe by doing content aware or any other option that you are having. All right, next, then we go over to our crop tool and then we crop our image to four by five aspect ratio then here we are and then we hit enter so for us to fill the negative space by the left and right hand side so let's go over to our marquee tool and then we select the first area which we want to stretch and then we press command or control t to transform then we hold shift and stretch until we fill our negative space then we let go and hit enter then we press command or control d to the select then we go over to the other side and select the area which we want to stretch as well then we press command or control t and then you hold shift and then we fill the other side as well here we are and then we hit enter then command or control d to deselect so after we fill our backdrop the next thing we are going to do is uh, to get rid of all this wrinkle on our backdrop how are we going to do that is by first duplicating our layer by pressing command or control G and then we go over to our uh, quick selection tool and then we go for select subject so potential we analyze and select the subject for us and then after it's selected it will definitely leave some areas which we are going to fix ourselves or at least it would do uh, most of the job for us so for us to fix we are just going to look the areas that we don't want them to be part of our uh, part of our selection and then we manage them and then areas which we want them to be part of our selection that potential failed to add then we add them to our selection so let's begin by the top and then we move all around of the image so let's head over to our lasso tool and then we make use of polygonal lasso tool so we are adding some parts at the top here so we make sure we are selecting the add and then we move over and select the areas which we want to add so that's how we move over adding the areas which we want them to be part of our selection and then we add them as you can see so areas which we, we don't want them to be part of our selection we then move to minus and then we remove them so i'm going to fast forward this process so that the video won't be that long and let me know in the comment section if you want me to create a tutorial on how to use the selection tools inside of photoshop so after we fix our, uh, our selection the next thing we are going to do is we are going to make sure we are selecting the layer, uh, the layer which we duplicated and then we head over to our layer mask and then we add layer mask to the layer so as you can see it's adding layer mask here so where there is 
white does our model which is visible and then where there is black does the background is invisible so let's hide the layer below and see as you can see we are only having our layers uh, our subject selected so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to uh, uh, go over to the layer mask and then we hold our command or control and then we click on the layer mask notice we bring back our selection and then we go back to the image not the layer mask i mean the image and then we press command or control g to duplicate and then here we are also having our subject independently so the next thing i'm going to do is we're going to go over again to the layer mask and then we press command or control and then we click on the layer mask and then this time around we are going to invert the selection by pressing command shift i now we are no longer selecting the subject we are selecting the background so then we go over to the image and then we also press command or control g to duplicate so what is happening here is we are only having our background excluding the subject so let me hide the two layers below so here is holding our subject and then here is holding our background so let's bring back our layers now for us to get rid of the wrinkle on the background all you need to do is to go over to our background layer let's rename, uh, rename the layers here is our background as you can see and then here is our subject So for us to uh, smooth the background and get rid of all this wrinkle, all we need to do is make sure we are selecting the background and then we, have, uh, we head over to filter, blow and then we add Gaussian blow. So here all you need to do is to push your Gaussian blow as high as you can until you cannot clearly see the wrinkle. As you can see our background, background is smooth and then wherever you feel is okay for you you are satisfied with what you are seeing and then that's where you will need to stop it depends on the image the harder the wrinkle the more gaussian blow you will need the lower the wrinkles the lower gaussian blow you will apply so as for this image let's see how much gaussian blow we need i think here at this level is okay and then we hit okay so as you can see before after before and after we have smoothed our uh our wrinkle we have smoothing our background so let's do the overall before and after let's see the uh background with its wrinkle before after before and uh, after so basically that's how you simply go uh over smoothing or cleaning your backdrop whenever it's messy so thank you for watching the video if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button as it makes a huge difference in supporting the channel let's meet in another video